Hey Cast King fans, this is Dylan Nussbaum and today we're out here on Lake Erie. We're actually doing one of my favorite techniques out here and that's casting Rapala flat jigs. These baits actually come in two different sizes, multiple colors. My favorite size is a number six. They also come in a number four, but the number six is a heavier jig. It's a one and three sixteenths ounce. It's a very heavy jig for casting in shallow. You can actually work them really deep and still have the great action. The main reason I love to pull the big one is actually for the glide that it has. This bait will actually glide maybe five feet, six feet to the side when you're jigging and it's just a crazy erratic action that the walleyes just can't resist. Now along with that, I'm pretty much using a power jig 6.8 cast king rod paired with a uh, cast king reel on here and running out with braid and just a pretty much a simple setup and it just works great. Now we are out here, I got a hump right beside me. I'd, I'd like to teach you how I work over a hump. Now typically I'm going to cast to the highest point of the hump and I'm going to go up on there, let it hit bottom and then you're just going to start ripping it down off the side. Then maybe work it just a few hops past it and pretty much reel it in and start over. Now I'm just ripping this jig, I'm just slowly feeling the fall on it, I'm not slowing the fall down and I'm just hitting bottom, just doing pretty much a two foot jig every time and bringing it on back to the boat until you get to the bottom of that hump. Now another technique that I really like to do, but you have to be on your electronics to figure it out, is actually working over like humps, brake lines, points, stuff like that. I like to actually look for maybe 15 feet or deeper when you're vertical jigging. You're going to actually go over these areas, see if there's fish on it. If you're marking fish, just drop down and pretty much, I actually like, when I'm marking a fish, I actually like to jig right beside the transducer. Now that's just how I like to do it. I could see my jig on there, I could see the fish, and sometimes I can even watch them come up off the bottom when you actually hook them. And all I'm pretty much doing is the same exact technique. I'm just ripping it up and letting it go back down. Just pretty much doing a two foot jig, just not slowing it down on the fall, just letting it do its thing. And that's basically all I do with that. Now, vertical jigging pretty much, you can do it anywhere from 15 feet. You can go all the way up to 50, 60 feet. I've actually caught them at 70 feet doing that before. My name is Dylan Nussbaum with Casking out here. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I hope you guys have a great day.